Hi, Dr. Shook here. Today I want to talk to you about autoimmune conditions. And a lot of people don't realize how, how common autoimmune conditions are. And these are, these are conditions where your immune system attacks your body and your own tissues. And there is a point in your life where if you have an autoimmune condition where your body loses self-awareness and your immune system no longer is able to differentiate or tell the difference between your tissues and foreign invaders. The whole pathology or pathophysiology of autoimmunity is much better understood today than ever before and we have a lot of research on how this process develops. And I'm not going to go into that in great detail but what I am going to talk to you about is um, I, I'm going to I want to talk about a few autoimmune conditions just kind of list several that there's so many there are hundreds and hundreds of autoimmune conditions so you may be autoimmune and not even know it and the problem with autoimmune conditions is that they come in groups and there's there are most of these conditions uh, are undiagnosed and if you find out or you discover that you're autoimmune, there's so many things that can be done to help dampen or suppress that autoimmune condition naturally so that you still have vibrant health and so that you recover and you can live a long, healthy life. Autoimmune conditions have to be taken seriously because this is something that is progressive. If you're not vigilant and you don't, you don't uh, seek for the cause, seek the cause. It can be life-changing and debilitating, and it can. Uh, it's you know, autoimmune conditions have been the number of them considered precancerous, and we know that they lead to um, changes in your in the cells and. DNA and that they can cause you to have a number of problems long term, not to mention pain and um, and, and issues with um, skin and, and just just a host of problems, neurological problems. I mean, every tissue in the body can you can literally have an autoimmunity too. So, um, one of the things that I wanted to, to kind of go into was um, just a list of a few of the autoimmune conditions that people don't necessarily know. Uh, are, are an auto, autoimmune problem. And so if you do you know someone that has alopecia and that's where you have like the bald spots and you lose hair, that is actually an autoimmune condition. Arthritis in all forms except for osteo. Now, osteoarthritis is the wear and tear arthritis, but rheumatoid arthritis, psoriatic arthritis, um, there, are, there, there, there are probably a hundred or more rheumatoid um, or autoimmune metabolic arthritises. There are dermatitis, so if you have um, a skin irritation, eczema, psoriasis, type 1 diabetes, uh, endometriosis, gastritis, uh, celiac disease, which we know is an autoimmune condition to gluten that occurs in the gut, uh, lichen planus, multiple sclerosis is an autoimmune condition to the myelin or the nerve, the coating of the nerves in your body, and that's autoimmune where your immune system is attacking those nerves. Restless leg syndrome, schizophrenia, and then we know that vasculitis and literally hundreds of other autoimmune conditions exist. So if you know, if if you if you don't know, and you have any of these conditions, you need to to treat this seriously. And there there's testing that you can do to determine if you're autoimmune. Now, the testing that that we offer our patients is through a a, a laboratory called Cyrex Labs, C Y R E X. And they have what they call arrays. And you can go to Cyrex.com and you can look at their arrays, testing arrays. And these arrays are absolutely cutting edge autoimmune or antibody tests. And they can test for sensitivities and antibodies to chemicals, to a number of your own tissues. They have panels that are neurological. So you can test all these different neurological tissues to see if your immune system is attacking those tissues. You can do it for, they have multiple tissues, which anything from thyroid to brain to connective tissue um, panels, and we can refer you to a laboratory, have this testing done, and confirm if you're autoimmune. The, the thing is, I treat my patients, the majority of my patients that have symptoms that, uh, that could be autoimmune, you're autoimmune. I just treat you as if you're autoimmune so that we don't have to do that testing. But a lot of people want this confirmation to know exactly the extent and, ex and the, uh, how far in their, their autoimmunity has progressed because they always come in groups. So we'll refer to, to Cyrex Labs. But what we do is we put you on something called the Autoimmune Paleo Protocol. And sometimes I combine with that other modifications to that diet because paleo is not necessarily great for everyone but the autoimmune paleo is good because it tends to remove nightshades and FODMAPs 
and you can look at my blog for other things or you can contact us and I can help you with your diets. But this is something that's extremely important because your digestive health and food sensitivities are are one of the, the if, I, if I had to say the majority of um, the, the chronic or, or the things in your, in, your, in your lifestyle that drive autoimmune conditions is going to be your diet. So the autoimmune paleo protocol is what I teach my patients and what we have you do in our clinic, but we do a lot of advanced lab testing if needed, and then we, uh, we do other therapies to help you recover faster, nutritional supplementation, uh, clinical nutrition, and um, you know, just try to help you regain your health naturally by unwinding these, uh, these things that you're, you're doing you probably don't even know that are making you sick. So I'm Dr. Shook. If you have any questions, just shoot us an email or give us a call if you'd like to um, us to consider you as a patient. Right now, we are only accepting a very limited number of functional medicine patients. It is something that um, I have had closed to, um, to, our, uh, to everyone and for the past few years, and we only accept cases that we think we can help and we do not accept everyone. And that is not something that we're doing because we don't like you. We just, we, if we don't think we can help you, we don't accept your case. So you can contact us, contact us, shoot me an email or give us a call and we will send you paperwork and all the information prior to any appointment with me because we need, I need all the information prior to even speaking with you to see if I think it's something I can help. Really appreciate you being a fan of our blog and following us. If there's anything that we can do for you, let us know. We'd love to help you out if we can. Thanks.